talent. She knows your trick. <laughs> Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the movies. And it's time to wrap up a action trilogy. We're kind of having an action September, right? And it's time to wrap up an action trilogy. We've got <laughs> Expendables going on. we got Collateral coming soon. we got Commando last week. We're bringing back one of the greatest action heroes of all time, Sergeant Frank Drebin from awesome. Police Squad. Awesome. The 33rd chapter of the Wicked <laughs> Gun franchise. Well, 33rd of 33rd of third. Oh, sure. Of course. The final insult with Leslie Nielsen. Love it. So, yeah. Do you remember what happened in the last 32 films? No, I missed a few, I think. Yeah. Probably. You you probably missed a few. Yeah. But yeah. So are you excited to laugh and be blown I away hope, with I hope action so. Packed yeah. I can't wait comedy. for the one liners in this one. Yeah. I'm sure there's going to be some, right? I, well, I hope so. Or maybe that's why this franchise ended. Oh, it's the bad one. Actually, they're talking about doing a remake with, uh, or not a remake, but a continuation. Is with... Leslie Nielsen alive still? No. It would be Liam Neeson playing Frank Drebin's son, Frank Drebin Jr. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. We talked, we talked about, about, about it during, in, Ted. during Ted. Yeah, his Liam uh, Neeson, Leslie Nielsen. It kind of his kinda rhymes. Delivery could be similar. He's yeah. pretty dry. Mm-hmm. But in a hurry, he's pretty funny. So yeah, yeah. Well, should we jump in and see the final insult with Leslie Nielsen? I hope we get some fart jokes. I hope we see some naked guns. Pew 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 pew. <laughs> Love it when you pew pew, baby. <laughs> let's jump in. Let's get naked. Let's do it. Oh, but first, yeah. like, comment, subscribe, come hang out with us for Naked Gun, 33 and a third. I was waiting. Check out our Patreon link down below for our early access to reviews, fun commentary, access to polls, helps people watch next. Links down there, check it out. We also have social media, so if you are into social media, you can follow us. And if you're not into social media, good for you. That's right. Let's watch Naked Gun, 33 and a third, the final insult. All right. Great place for a bench. <laughs> <laughs> the bottom of the stairs. <laughs> the selects you for your found. This has to be one of OJ's last films, too. <laughs> Damn bassinets. Mom, it's six day time. Is it okay if I put my pajamas on? No, it's never okay to put your pajamas on during bedtime. Why would you even ask a question like that? Yeah, go ahead, put your pajamas on, okay? And stay in your bed, okay? Good night, I love you. <laughs> Good night. Love you. Jeez. Awesome. Cool. Thank you for sharing. Did you flush? Well, I'm still on the toilet. Oh. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on my way. The mob's here. He's gonna drop the baby. Oh god. Guns. Guns. These babies are not strapped in either. Why is it running in the side? Hey, Bob, it's the <laughs> OJ's got the babies. No, no, no. 
Oh, God. <laughs> Are you all right? I'm soaking wet. I'll get the talcum powder. No, no, it's not that. <laughs> Frank, it was just a dream. Ah, you're right. All I need is a good night's rest. In the morning, everything will be just fine. I'm going to get five for fighting here. I think it's a Godzilla pinball machine. Oh, yeah? I should get one of those. You wish. <laughs> I feel like I've seen this film before. On the old stop motion, huh? Getting along okay, sweetie? Uh, about as well as a heterosexual can in prison. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Tanya's the same. Milky, creamy skin, pouting red lips, firm buttocks, ample breast. You <laughs> just love to stick your tongue into it. Oh, please. Oh. Okay, guy cramps if you keep this up. Guy cramps. <laughs> Half schmear. Pet schmear. I'm breaking out of here. All right, but fail this time, Mr. Dillon. And my people won't be so forgiving. Show me one man who can stop me. Been there. Frank Drebin. She, she hate it when the damn carts get stuck together. <laughs> We've all been there. <laughs> Whoopsie. Nice melons. <laughs> Did he retire? Hello, for he's a jolly good fellow. Yep. Wish nobody Three thousand dead bad guys. <laughs> Well, we shot a lot of people together. It's been great. <laughs> so if I do any shooting now, it'll have to be within the confines of my own home. Hopefully, it'll be an intruder and not an in-law like at my bachelor party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez. Cheer up, Ed. This is not goodbye. It's just I won't ever see you again. Oh. <laughs> they, they even had the scientist from Police Squad in that scene. Yeah. But, but not once have you paid the alimony to my client in the past two years, repeatedly defying a court order. Isn't that right, Mr. Clayton? She moved twice. I couldn't keep up. Don't lie to me, Mr. Clayton. You're under oath. Do you know what the penalty for perjury is? I don't think this jury's impartial. Sweetie, Mommy said no pounding when she's in session. I would say she really wants to have a kid, too. What do you think? There, that a boy. Do you know what the penalty for perjury is? Ooh. <laughs> Think she's got baby fever? Yeah. I married the wrong man. I never thought that was possible. I beg your pardon? Oh, it's nothing. Louise is no such thing as the wrong man. You just have to work at it. That's right, baby. You just have to work at it. Are you saying you have to work at it? No, I'm saying. Is this hard for you? Is this a hard, a hard situation, no. a burden? Now, which one of you is impotent? Uh, that would be him. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Why don't you ask who's frigid? Uh, that would be him also. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're so insensitive. This isn't that toilet seat thing again, is it? <laughs> I want to have a baby, and every time we start to make love. You have a headache. I'm not a piece of meat, Jen. <laughs> have you tried sexy lingerie, some lacy underwear, or a black teddy? I've tried wearing them all. They don't work. <laughs> <laughs> Frank, why don't you want to have a child? Didn't I try to adopt that 18-year-old Korean girl? 
Ew. <laughs> Make tonight a special night. Dinner, wine, romantic music. Just be Jane and Frank, lovers. We haven't had a night like that in a, in a long time. Not together. Frank. <laughs> oh, honey, I, just that I love you so much. My little lover sparrow. My puppy wuffy wover. Mr. and Mrs. Jevon, please, I, I'm a diabetic. I think you two ought to go now. He doesn't like the sweet talk, apparently. Yeah. We may have a lead on a suspect in the city hall bombing attempt. Have a look. We think this girl was used as a diversion. We had them enlarged. They look familiar. <laughs> no, no, Frank, the pin. She's a nurse. All oh, right, yeah. Can I, I keep this one? We traced <laughs> Don't you remember back in the 1970s? The big disco shootout. This is a suspect's girlfriend, Tanya Peters. I'll be right back. Cigarette? Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Frank. Come in, Lieutenant. <laughs> God, how long would it take to pick that? It's a hell of a fro. <laughs> we need you to go undercover at the clinic today. Hey, whoa, wait a minute. I'd give one up police work, Ed. No. You'd be protecting all the Janes of the world. Besides, you haven't shot anybody in six months. That's true. Funny how you miss the little things. <laughs> <laughs> After folding the laundry, I set out for the Carlson Clinic. In any He's back in action. Disguise. And this operation was no different. I had no Do you still be able to pay the meter now? Uh, Mr. Smith? Sir, we've just had a cancellation. We can take you now. Is that Anna Nicole Smith? Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. She hasn't aged much since the 70s. I was like, she's dead, honey. <laughs> <laughs> she did. <laughs> when did you first notice the problem? Uh, in the uh, backyard with my uncle. Uh, yes, when he uh, comes over to visit, we like to go out in the backyard, throw it around for a it's while. It's a fertility clinic? Oh, I can't keep up with him. Mine hurt, especially on the long ones. I, I can't seem to straighten it out. It has no feeling. It, it, it's kind of numb. <laughs> I uh, may have yanked it too much. You may have yanked it too much. <laughs> In here? Well, it's not exactly the backyard, but it'll do. <laughs> Uncomfortable. We've all been there. Follow me, and we'll do the necessary paperwork. Seems like a lot of work. You're next. Have we met before? Uh, if you'll excuse me, I, I'm next. <laughs> it's like you're... Oh, you gotta do it twice. Would you like a videotape to assist you? Oh, do you have dances with walls? Rocketeer. <laughs> Lady in the Tramp. An adult movie. Major Hooters. It's a classic. Holy mackerel. <laughs> Tape was very entertaining. <laughs> you didn't have to watch the whole thing. Three times. <laughs> what are you doing? Just uh, freshening up. You should always look your best, even though you're by yourself. You know what I mean? Here's my cup. Back to work. Are you okay in there? Uh, I could use a little help. Dr. Rosenblatt, four play in room seven, please. Dr. Rosenblatt. It's not the kind of help I'd want. Didn't know that was an option. You'd be surprised. Oh, he's not going to be prepared for an evening with his wife, yeah, though. Yeah, he's got a number with lipstick on a napkin. With the woman's name on it. And he just jerked off three times. 
I'm gonna make love to you for hours and hours. Wouldn't Mr. Happy like that? <laughs> He's got bandages on his fingers. <laughs> Frank, what's this? I, I fell on a rake. <laughs> You've been back on the case, haven't you? No, no. I swear, it's another woman. In your wildest dreams. I was only doing it a small favor. Some retirement. I'm leaving, Frank. She changed fast. Goodbye, Frank. Oh, she took the number. Whoops. Once a cop, always a cop. He's married to his work, not me. That's the way it is with him. You'll always come in second. Thelma and Louise sort of situation <laughs> happening. Looks like it. Fresh air will do you good. Jane, go easy. That's your second bottle of Chanel. <laughs> it's like, yeah, isn't that perfume? Yeah. You didn't forget anything, did you? I hope not. It's like you packing for the lake. Somebody's got to bring all of our <laughs> stuff. Lord knows you don't bring anything. I bring all I need. You. Shows up. Can't find a charger. Wonders why I didn't pack one for him. <laughs> you didn't pack me a charger? Nordberg. Really great. Thank you guys. <laughs> J. Edgar Hoover. <laughs> but why is he wearing a dress? He was thought to be a fan of the ballet. Okay. And I've got that data for you on the bomb. Good. What did you find out? Well, the explosive itself is a very fine powder. It tastes like that would be fertilizer, Frank. It's for another case. This is <laughs> billions of years ago. The Earth was a molten mass. Ted, as it, I'm talking about the powder. Oh, we haven't got a clue about that, Ed. Here, let me take that urine specimen from you, Frank. However, <laughs> still, we came up with a suspect, Rocco Dillon. He must be masterminding the bombings from inside the prison. We're going to have to send someone into Statesville prison. I'll do it. You might end up dead. You might end up dead is my middle name. What about Jane? I don't know her middle name. <laughs> <laughs> We're testing out a prototype for a new anti-carjacking device. No! Get out! No. Don't make me get... <laughs> We call it the Denver Jockstrap. <laughs> Clever. It's like the club for your junk. Yeah. I was surrounded by pimps, rapists, and murderers. It was like being in the stands at a Los Angeles Raiders game. <laughs> How many of these guys did he put away? Well, he killed most of the people he nah, did. That's true. The man is Rocco Dillon. Where's your prison number? It's unlisted. <laughs> this place here changes a man. Oh, yeah? In what way? I used to be white. <laughs> I was the drummer for the Osmonds. <laughs> My dearest Snooky Wilkins Dumpling Bun. I haven't heard this bad since since the last time I was dumped. We were supposed to be married, but on the day of our wedding, she never showed up. <laughs> I remember how we wished we could take everyone with us. That was the happiest day of my life. That's a long letter. She writes really small. Hi, Mr. D. Hi, Mr. D. <laughs> and I knew that eventually our dream would come true. One day we'd have our own little Frank Driven Jr. <laughs> nah, it's no use. She'll never come back. It's for me, Swinchero. Fresh meat. Ooh. Oh boy. Uh, 
Uh oh. I'm gonna drop the soap. Chastity belt. You came prepared. But now I had to get on the inside. Like a blind man at an orgy, I was going to have to feel things out. <laughs> Gross. Burnett wants in too. Burnett's one of the guards. I know, but he's unhappy here. Got it all worked out right here. What's this? Another letter from your mommy? <laughs> An escape plan. This is your ticket to another 20 years, Dylan. Hey! What do you think we are? Animals! <laughs> what are we? Prisoners! <laughs> oh, boy. She's inside a prison riot. He's eating it, huh? Oh, that's a lot of paper to eat. <laughs> Why is he eating all that stuff for? Anyway, I convinced Rocco to dig a tunnel. It was either that or go out in a laundry truck. But the thought of lying in a pile of underwear, nose down, and skid marks just didn't leave a good taste in my mouth. Holy cow. Disposing of the dirt was a problem I solved early in the construction. Outside of some major chafing, we The Shawshank Redemption reference. <laughs> Look, you touched the bag. I'm hauling a load of rice cakes down to Big D. What do you say to coming with me? I'm gonna love a rice cake. How about a kiss? No. I know what a woman says no, she really means yes. Sweetheart. Please, Jane, come to your senses. You killed a man. You're a hero to every woman in this country. Frank, we have to call Frank. He'll protect us. Frank is a man. He'll see you locked away for the rest of your life. <laughs> Louise, do what you have to do. I'm calling Frank. Her name is Louise. <laughs> oh, which one do I press? No, no, not that one. No. Louise is out of here with titty hats. Another woman. Frank was telling the truth. Honeymoon Bay Road. I bet they're all alone there right now. Uh-oh. Once word of the escape was out, we had to move quickly, so we headed for the tunnel. The last few feet had to be dug on the run. We were sure that... Another 47 yards would take us well beyond the prison walls. 47 <laughs> yards. After making a slight adjustment in our direction, we finally arrived at the rendezvous point. A Los Angeles City High School. Yeah, high school's worse than prison. Rocco's mom was quiet. I had a feeling she didn't care for me coming along. <laughs> That's a big rig. Sure is. Made it to Tanya's. <laughs> so weird. Oh, two sets of knees. Legs for days. That's no way to be walking around. Get some clothes on. And what are you doing in my bathing suit? <laughs> Don't I know you from somewhere? I smelled cop on him the minute I saw him. Are you saying you're not a cop? Well, yeah. Well, it's good enough for me. Me too. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> that was a close one. Uh, why don't you two kiss some makeup? Huh? Oh, uh, all right. Oh, that's more like it. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get a message to police quad. <laughs> My prospects look bleaker than a gerbil's in a bathhouse. Who's down there? 
Oh, no. Have you seen my pigeon? <clears throat> pigeon? What pigeon? Her pet pigeon. <laughs> Just contemplating my next move. Your bishop is exposed. It's these pants. I usually wear a uh, fuller cut. <laughs> <laughs> You're Rocco's girl. And in my book, that chapter is called Look But Don't Touch. I could have two lovers. Kinky. Well, I like my sex the way I play basketball. One-on-one -on -one and with as little dribbling as possible. <laughs> <laughs> What's the dribbling part? I don't know. All I know is it's downtown and big. That's the way I like it. What else? Just this. Oh, no. What are you doing? Uh, what? What's all this? Who's a skirt? Let's plug her right here. No. no. I've been on a job when things went hooey. I would have given my eye teeth for a hostage. Women make the best hostages. They're smaller, easy to take along, eat less, smell nice. Yeah, we got us an insurance policy. What's our target? No idea. Rigged. Keep an eye on the tower, Slasher. What's gonna happen tonight? Hey, aren't we awfully far away? Ow. <laughs> Seems a little overkill. Impressive. <laughs> cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Sounds like Beavis. <laughs> or Butthead. It's another beautiful night in Los Angeles, and the stars are shining bright for the 66th annual Academy Awards. Oh, they're gonna blow up the Oscars? Bummer. It's Weird Al Yankovic and Vanna White. Way to go, Al. Al must have gotten nominated but for UHF. Definitely. <laughs> it's not working on him. You'll never get away with this. Rocco's gonna kill you, whoever you are. Frank Driven, police squad. Frank, isn't that a little unusual? Not really. It's happened to me a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> Talent. She knows your trick. <laughs> Call police squad. Tell them Frank Drebin said... I'm busy. I'm not going to come back. 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 Forget it. <laughs> I wonder what the devil he wanted. <laughs> That's why you don't stereotype. And now, to present the award for Best Supporting Actress are Mariel Hemingway and Elliot Gould. Who? I know Elliot Gould. I don't know. She looks familiar, though. These are Mary Lou Retton, Fatal Affair. One woman's ordeal to overcome the death of her cat. <laughs> Morgan Fairchild, final proposal. One courageous pioneer woman's triumphant victory over bulimia set against the background of the Donner Party crossing. <laughs> oh, God. Yikes. <laughs> yeah, you can't resist that. Our kids can't. Shannon Doherty, basic analysis. One woman's triumph over a yeast infection set against the background of the tragic Buffalo Bill season of 1991. <laughs> <laughs> what award did you put it in? Best picture? Let me just check your tickets, folks. Lovely gown. Is that cool with? Yeah, all right. <laughs> Let's see. She gets you one of those dresses. Weird Al Yankovic. Okay. Vanna White and Weird Al Yankovic. <laughs> oh, they knocked them out. The bomb is in one of those envelopes. You're right. And the winner is. <laughs> Mary Lou Retton for Fatal Affair. <laughs> is she the gymnast? Mm hmm. 
never realized there'd be this many. <laughs> One more second, Mr. Donahue. Oh. <laughs> oh shoot. Hell. Jesus. Go to commercial. <laughs> read the, read it. Read the card, moron. <laughs> Phew. I can barely catch my breath. Turn it over to Raquel. Raquel, I'm used to being out of breath, working out to my video. What the hell is he doing? <laughs> Sir Richard Attenborough for his musical based on the life of Mother Teresa. Mother. Food! I love food and I'm really in the mood for a big corn dog, a poo poo platter, two ding dongs, it doesn't matter. <laughs> That's what we need is a Mother Teresa musical. And for his tale of genetics gone haywire in a retirement community, Steven Spielberg, Geriatric Park. <laughs> I don't think that movie's going to sequel. Thinking, if we could all just send good thoughts, transmit them through these cameras here, two men like the leader of China, uh, Wing Wa Wu Tong, so that they might finally be nice. Thank you. <laughs> Beautifully said. Probably one of the best speeches at the Oscars in the last couple of years. Each time I go to the zoo and see those porpoises, crammed into those tiny tanks. What a waste that is. But you're half of them now. That's hundreds of pounds of dolphin meat that can be fed to our <laughs> freeing up that tuna for our nation's hungry. <laughs> <laughs> and the winner is... Is that the envelope with the bomb in it? We don't know. It's okay. It's not the bomb. It's not the paw. Hey. <laughs> Pia Zadora. You're walking along the street. Who? Never heard of her. Be the start of something big. There's no. Oh no. <laughs> not him again. <laughs> You made the dance number better. <laughs> hey, it's Frank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. The other lady broke her fall. Definitely. I want to go straight. I'm tired of the lies. Oh, kiss me. Please kiss me. I've never kissed lips so innocent. So pure. Did she already kiss him? Yeah. I'm going to do it a little. and James Earl Jones. Good Lord, what's that? Looks like Phil Donahue throwing up in a tuba. <laughs> I don't think we should have Phil Donahue back next year. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be banned from the Oscars for life. Will do. Olivia, would you do the honors, please? Oh, God. That's the one. This year's best picture goes to... Frank! Oh, great. Sorry about this. Love you on Coneheads. You too. <laughs> James Earl Jones was in Coneheads? It's the bomb! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh, this is just like the Oscars are like five years ago when they announced the wrong picture. Is that moonlight? All right, drop your guns and kick them over here. Seemed like an appropriate reaction. You want to do the honors of killing him, Ma? Blink and I start shooting. <laughs> Pull out the bomb, Drebin. If you don't, I'll shoot the dame. All right, Rocco. All right. I'll do what you say. Frank. Just don't harm her. Frank, if you pull out the bomb, you'll kill me anyway. And everyone else in this theater. Yeah, no dice, Rocco. Oh, yeah. You shoot her and I'll empty this envelope. Then you'll kill yourself. And everyone here. Yeah. And I'll shoot you. <laughs> He's like, oh, no. <laughs> You're the psychotic. You should have the envelope. I should have the gun. Frank. I know what I'm doing. It's a different envelope. All right, give it up, Rocco. Your history. Look, George Hamilton. <sighs> At least the bomb's not going to go off now. Frank, help me! Frank, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Move it, sister. <laughs> Screw the commercials. We're sticking with this. Yeah, your rage are probably going through the roof right now. Work. Any last words, sweetheart, before I throw you off this catwalk? Yes. Don't do it. Anything else? Frank, I love you. Yes, I want the world to think. I know now that's why you couldn't perform decent sex with me. <clears throat> yes, I realize. Oops. Don't ever take your men for granted. Because good men don't just fall out of the sky. Yeah! Oh, listen to that advice, baby. I heard it. Oh, shit. Schmear. He was looking at Anna Nicole Smith's issue of Playboy. I never want us to be a part again. Oh, Frank, you like me. You really like me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's Waldo. Finally I'm looking for him. Breathe, Harry, breathe, Jane. One more push. That's it. Congratulations, Dad. It's a boy. Norman! Come back here! Frank! It's a boy! <laughs> I know! <laughs> <laughs> it's a young Liam Neeson. Oh, yeah. It's not. Right. This was funny. Well, I don't think it was as funny as the other two. Yeah, I, think, I think it peaked at two. Yeah. So there were some great moments though. Yeah, good moments, funny lines, yeah. but not as good as the originals. Yeah. One thing I did notice there was less reused jokes from Police Squad. Correct. There yeah. was a lot of reused jokes in the first two movies from Police Squad. Yeah, the first two movies were basically just Police Squad jokes yeah. redone. And then some more funny stuff combined with yeah. that. This was more parody of a lot of other other movies. Yeah. yeah, lots of other movie yeah. parodies in there. Thelma mm -hmm. and Louise. Um, Beavis and Butthead. Beavis and Butthead, yeah. A whole bunch a of stuff. A whole bunch of them. Yeah. They're all escaping me right now. But we all just saw them. Yeah, everyone knows. Yeah, everyone knows. Let us know your favorite parody. What do you think won Best Picture that year? Uh, the Probably the, the Bomb. No, it was Sawdust and Mildew. Right. The graphic came up from the yeah. bomb. The it was the one movie that bombed at the box office. That's what they had said. That oh, all that's the why. movies did well. <laughs> that's like, what. It's the bomb. The one that won the bomb. And they were like, <laughs> yes. Which uh, I, mean, I, I get the joke now. Yeah. That's pretty typical of an, of an Academy Award, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, it usually never goes to the, yeah. the, the ones, popular movie. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The ones that nobody cares about. At least these days. So, yeah. Well. What was the funniest moment? Honestly, I'm not sure. Sperm bank for me. 
Oh, yeah. When you walked in talking about his uncle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was funny. And the she's doctor's like, like uh, okay, your uncle, huh? Great. In the backyard? <laughs> That whole scene was that pretty was great. Funny. And he just kept going back for more. So there might be a lot of Frank Drebin juniors out there after that. For scene. sure. He was busy in that sperm bank. Yeah. So. Yeah. Was it a sperm bank or was it a fertility clinic? No, it said sperm bank. Oh, okay. I think. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Well, that was the end of the Naked Gun franchise with Leslie Nielsen. I wouldn't. I w- I would say because it's a comedy, I think it would be okay if they rebooted it. Yeah. Tried it again. Well, they're not going to do a reboot though. It's going to be a, a legacy mean, sequel. A legacy sequel. Right? It's gonna be, excuse me. They're going to reference. They bring it back. Guy. I mean, it, they literally just gave birth to the character that they're going to use. They did. Even though Liam Neeson's way older than what year this going? Ninety four or something like that. Ninety six. Yeah. So, but that's all right. Yeah. It'll be okay. Because yeah. it's a movie. So. A comedy. Yeah, it's a comedy. That doesn't take itself seriously. What should people comment on after the Naked Gun 33 and a third? Favorite joke, favorite parody, and rank them. Yeah, where does this stack up in the Naked Gun trilogy? I'm sure this is someone's favorite. Yeah. And uh, what do you guys think of them making a new chapter yeah. in the franchise? What a legacy the reboot. is... L- uh, Liam Neeson. So, yeah. tell us what you think. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out. Come back next week for another movie. Yeah. Check our Patreon link down below for early access to reviews, one commentary, access to polls, up to watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.